Jared Schaffron here with the head coach of the Tri-City Storm, Jim Holton. Day one of 2015 Storm Tryout Camp is in the books, and a lot of action today. We saw four games between the eight teams and uh, some practices as well. Jim Holton joining us now, and uh, coach, after the first day, uh, you get initial look at everybody. What are your first thoughts from camp? Well, initial thoughts, very happy. Obviously, our numbers are great this year, eight teams uh, in total, and I, and I thought the kids competed extremely hard, and it's always difficult to evaluate on day number one, but really happy with how the thing started off for us. You look at the teams, and this year, a little bit of a different format. Your draft picks are in action. You get a chance to see some of those guys. Uh, Alex Limoges, obviously a guy everybody's looking at, and he scored twice in his game. Who else stuck out as far as draft picks that you're getting your first look at? Well, I think the nice part for me is I thought all of our draft picks kind of stood above the crowd, which uh, is very, very good for the future of the club. And I think Limoges, as he talked about with the two goals, was very impressive. Uh, but I thought all of them from top to bottom had, had really good days, which is nice. And it's not always the case when you come into a camp, but I, I thought each of them in their own right stood above the crowd at their positions. Anybody surprise you that you weren't looking for that jumped off the sheet as somebody that uh, wasn't a draft pick or, or maybe a draft pick that you weren't sure was ready for this level that looked really good? Well, I don't think there's any one particular individual that stood out today in terms of uh, jumping off the charts, and I think that will materialize over the course of the next couple of days. But I was just really, really happy with the compete level of day number one of the camp. Tri-City Storm back on the ice tomorrow for day number two of camp. We'll be back with Jim Holton at the conclusion of day number two to recap that one. Keep clicking in here on Facebook and check out stormhockey.com for more information.